So let's check the leaderboards, just see where I rank. Oh wow, look at that, second in the world. Hi guys, so we're gonna be looking here at Flat Out 4's stunt mode. This first video we'll be taking a look at the first six stunts and then the second video we'll look at the remaining six. So we're kicking things off here with the total destruction round. And basically for every round I'm gonna be setting myself a target for this particular mode. We're gonna aim for 10,000 points, so away we go. First attempt, looking to hit these TNT barrels, bang, away it goes. And you can see the points there racking up on the top left of the screen. So for every block that hits the ground, you do earn more points. So three, oh no, it's still going up. So 3,175 points, so an okay start. You'll see the different uh, red TNT barrels littering the surface there. That's what you need to aim for, because if you don't aim for those, if you don't hit those, uh, you know, you get very, very little damage, if anything at all. So we're looking to hit the second barrel. Oh, unable to do so. You know, you really have to sort of, you know, launch at an angle and really sort of curve your way around the uh, the front tower there with a blue sort of block on top, because they're not easy to hit these TNT barrels. They're often sort of tucked away behind a few blocks. So I'm going to try again, then you can see me just holding the left. Managed to get this, hit the target and hit the other TNT barrel as well. So we're looking for 10,000 points. This is the third and final round. And it does look like we're going to do it. No, 8,700 points. So we're going to try this stunt. Oh, no, a little bit more. 8,750. So we're going to have to try this stunt a second time. Right then, so second attempt here. 10,000 points is my personal goal. And here is the first of three attempts. So again, looking to hit this barrel, pretty straightforward stuff. And we managed to do so. Some good damage there. Uh, not managing to hit any other TNT barrel, so we'll take that for now. 3,350 points. So about the first, oh, no, hang on. Oh yes, look at that. The roof section there fell down onto the TNT barrel and we're, oh, we might even get a third barrel hit here. But no, it looks like it's just about hanging in there. So, oh, the points keep racking up. 6,650, an absolute mess. Complete carnage. Uh, a few more points there as well, so it's never over until it's over. Now you can see the TNT barrel right at the back of the playing area there, near the big tower. I'm gonna actually try and aim for that next time round. You see it there to the right of the screen now because I imagine if I can get one of those big tires down, uh, it should make for some more points. So we've still got, what, uh, 3,300 points to get. So we're gonna aim for this third barrel around the side. And yes, so make contact with a big, oh, the big tower does come down. So there we are, big points, but will it be enough to get 10,000 points? It's not looking good at this moment. 8,275. So that was the second attempt. So we've got just the one TNT barrel left, which we're gonna have to hit if we've got any chance of getting 10,000 points. So this barrel, like I said before, it's sort of tucked away. So we're gonna have to really hold down the left trigger. And there we go, Is it oh yes, we got it, so. And there we have it, 10,000 points. And the big tower's coming down as well, beautiful. So there we go, we're going to move on to the next stunt. Right then, so this is the golf mode. We're going to set my target at 150 points. So away we go then. So straight away aiming for the, the very nearest uh, hole there. And we're going to look, try and bounce inside and oh yes. So there we are, 50 points. Our target is uh, 150. Uh, I'm not sure if you get three or four attempts. Uh, oh, we get four attempts, okay. So we're gonna aim for this one over to the left, sort of uphill. And, ooh, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be very close. Oh, oh, it sounded painful, didn't it? Just outside, wow. So there we go, 74 points. We've got a bit of work to do if we can get 150. So third of four attempts, and we're gonna try this one once more. Sort of changed my mind halfway through there. But uh, it was so close last time, I figured I could get it this time, and in we go. So, there we go, that's uh, 125 points. So we've still got some to score for this fourth and final launch. 
So we're going to go over to the right. Because let's face it, I didn't get enough air there. So, oh, straight into the water. But is it enough for 150 points? Oh, just about. So 163 points. So that was it for my personal target. We're going to move on to the next stunt. Right then, so this is the long jump with the aim for 300 meters. So we've got to dodge these obstacles at the start for launching at a very high angle there. So 50 degrees, and look at that, very high. So we're looking for 300 meters. It doesn't look like we're getting anywhere near that on this first attempt. No, 225 only. So we've got to try again. So away we go, attempt two or three. And we're going to go through the barrier that we smashed through earlier just to get as much distance as possible. Launch it up into the air at 56 degrees. And we're passing the 100 mark, 150, 200. Oh, and into the railing bit there. So again, nowhere near. So third and final launch then. 300 meters is the target. So again, we're going to go through this gap, just about managing to squeeze through. Uh, not sure if this is going to be good enough for 300. Oh, maybe not. Maybe so, actually, because look at this. 270, 280. Oh, yes, just about getting there. 318 metres, so that's good enough for me. Let's move on to the next stunt. Right then, so this is billiards. And I'm going to set a goal of 200 points. So there we go, a very uh, shallow angle here angle here so 30% uh, degrees and look at that we get one maybe two on the break it is so two balls on the break 100 score and uh, we only need uh, set a target of 200 so it looks like I'm gonna do it this time around we've got two balls over the pocket so we're gonna aim for those so first of all the ball on the left the yellow one we're gonna aim for that 34 degrees oh a little bit high we're gonna have to come down oh just about managing to hit it so when you do go high, you have to hold down on the left stick and you sort of, you know, you can alter your trajectory very slightly. Right, going for the ball on the right then. And that looks pretty decent to me. Oh, what? How did that miss? The angle looked pretty much perfect to me, but somehow, maybe it's just too fast. It sort of rattled off the cushions there. Okay, one more attempt, then we're going to aim for 200. So we need 75 points. Uh, which is going to be admittedly very tricky. Have to try and hit as hard as we can here onto this blue ball. Ah, oh, I've gone over it. So you press the X button. Right, so that was a bit of a foul. We're going to try again on the second attempt here. 200 points is the goal. And oh dearie me. Well, there you go. A bit premature there. Blew through the windscreen too early. Going to try again then. So second attempt of four. good to me oh lovely break there but not managing to score so that was unlucky we did manage to break oh hang on that blue ball looks pretty close but no oh the yellow ball could go in the pocket here oh no okay so zero score two attempts down and only two to go so again just aiming for this cluster of balls here Try and lock one ball onto the other, but again, failing. So it's not looking good, is it, for this round? So far, zero points. Oh, that yellow ball, though, looks like it's going to fall in the pocket. And there it goes. So 50 points. We're going to need a bit of a miracle here to complete 200 points in this single launch. And, well, no. Not quite like that. So here we go, then. Keeping the angle pretty low there, 28 degrees, and smashing into the balls there. Oh, one, two, look at this, three. Oh, four balls on the break. 250 points. So there you go, I've already satisfied my personal goal. Absolutely fantastic. So only six balls left on the uh, on the table. If you call it a table. So anything's a bonus now. They try and knock this black ball in. Oh, close. Oh, this red ball looking good for the pocket. And there you go. So that's a score multiplier of two. So we've got 200 points there. So 450, which is a pretty decent score. Let's see if we can actually add to that. 
We've got two more rounds left. So again, trying to knock this black ball in. And look at that, lovely. So another 200 points there, 650 points. Very good score actually. Be interested to see where this stacks up on the leaderboards. Uh, I will check in just a moment. Right. So here we go then. Just trying to add if I can any more points. Oh, just getting the angle just slightly wrong there. But uh, well happy with 650 points. So let's check the leaderboards, just see where I rank. Oh wow, look at that, second in the world for Billy Ed. So there we go, decent score. Uh, we're gonna move on to another event now. Right, so this is finished pins. Now basically, if you knock down a single pin, you score whatever number is on that pin. Or if you knock down multiple pins, you just score uh, for how many pins you knock down. So the idea is to try and separate a pin on its own and then go for that. Now you see that I was trying to get for the six, Ends up hitting two pins. So I only score two there rather than six plus whatever the pin was. So we're going to aim for just uh, 12 points for this one. This is not my strongest event. So 12 shouldn't be too bad to aim for. Uh, we're going to try again now. So again, just trying to isolate the pins. Now as I had this shot here, I noticed another six on its own there. Could have done with that. Uh, could have done with seeing that a bit earlier, but um, never mind. So I'm going to try and go for this number six now on the right hand side. It's not going to give me 12 points, my target, but so it's good practice. So let's see if I can get this number six pin on the side. And there we go. In retrospect, I probably should have got the number eight there. And that would have actually given me my score, but uh, you know, I'm still learning how to play this mode. So it's all about being accurate rather than going for many pins. Although having said that, you can go for many pins at the start. And then uh, perhaps you can single out some other pins for some good scores. So that's what I'm going to try and do now. So just trying to hit as many pins over as possible. And hoping that they will separate. So how many was that? Then that was about seven or eight, was it? Seven. So not bad start then. So you can see a pin on the right there on its own. So let's go for that. Oh, a little bit higher. Oh, oh, just about. So that was four points. So that gives me a total of 11. So I need to score just one more point. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go smash him through the middle uh, to cause as much damage as possible. So this is a tricky mode. The idea is to score 25 points exactly. Uh, and you know, not a points over. So this will, you know, take a lot of practice, a lot of mastering to get this one right. So that's 14 points in total. So we're going to move on to the final stunt for this first video, looking at the stunt mode for Flat Out 4. Right. So this is the last mode we're going to be looking at in this video. So this is Cup Pong, and as you know, as you can imagine, you got land in the cups, and I believe the furthest cups, the red ones there, score more then these sort of uh, the orange cups and the blue cups right then so round one I'm gonna aim for 400 points smashing through the barrier there then getting a high launch 54 degrees nice and high so you can drop down at a good angle and oh how close was that hitting the side of the cup there well i honestly thought it was going to be you know i was going to hit the side of the cup and actually land in but sadly not hit the side and land out very frustrating we'll try again though once again, a nice high angle. And yeah, when you're up in the air like this, you just sort of, you don't know where you're gonna land and you know, half the time you're gonna land outside of a cup. So, you know, I was pressing all the buttons to see if I could look down uh, and see where I'm, you know, my trajectory would actually, uh, you know, where I'd actually end up. But uh, sadly, no, you just have to sort of go with it and just hope for the best really. So we're looking for this far cup. And in we go, head first, beautiful. So that was 240 points. And uh, I think we've run out of goes. Yes, we have. So we're going to have to start again. Right then, so second attempt, 400 points is my target. So I managed uh, 240 points before, so we've got a way to go here to get
get 400 again nice high launch 58 degrees and again just hoping for the best here head first into the red cup beautiful so 240 points again so we just need uh, one more decent uh, cup landing one more red cup and uh, that will do the business so second launch so launching a little bit further behind this time just trying different things and well there you go that's what happened too too short basically I didn't uh, launch out of the car you know it was too early at the launch so therefore I landed short with the cups so again we're going to just adjust the timing so much further in this time again a nice high launch and we're aiming for that red cup to give us 400 plus points oh close right then so third attempt 400 points to target So similar launch just oh thought I was gonna land very short there and then I pressed the uh, X button and it just gives you a little boost in the air but still not enough so we're gonna have to land some pretty seriously good cups a couple of red cups I imagine we'll do the business so attempt two or three right then so where are we gonna land is it blue cup looks like a blue cup it is a blue cup so how much is that? That's 168 points, so we're, we're going to need a red cup here. And even then I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. So a big launch. Looking for that red cup at the end. And in it goes. Is it enough for 400 points? Oh it is, just. So there you go, 408 points. It's just scraping by, but we're going to leave it there for the first part of the stunt mode video for Flat Out 4. We'll have more on Flat Out 4 coming up very shortly. Thanks for watching. Well, how do you like it? Makes me feel.